Hello, this is Brandon from Avidine Tech Support. Today we're going to be going over how to upload Jeppesen charts onto your Avidine MFD. And this will cover EX500, 600s, and 5000s. Um, to get started, we're going to go over uh, the USB drives and how to format them if you're unfamiliar with that. We do have a list of USB drives that are supported on our website. Uh, you can get to that link easily by going to Google and typing Avidine USB drives. And this very first link here provides a list of drives that are supported. Uh, by default, they need to be 2 gigabytes or less in size and in FAT format. So to show you how to do that here, I already have my USB drive plugged in. And we're going to go up to the computer icon, which I already had open. And here it is, our removable disk E. So to format, I need to right click on them and go down to format. And FAT default is the correct, the correct option there. You can see where FAT32 and EXFAT are options, which we do not want to select. And then kilo allocation unit size, I select default allocation and then hit start. Here's our warning telling us that it's going to delete everything, which is fine. And the and it's been formatted. So now we have a empty USB drive that's in FAT format, which is a good starting point for our for our download. So to start with the CMAX key code generation, we need two pieces of data. One of them is the MFD serial number and the Avidine excuse me, and the Jeppesen serial number. To get the Jeppesen uh, serial number, you go to your Jeppesen Services Update Manager, as I have open here, and you right-click on it, and you go down to Set Avidine Key. Here you'll see a 16-digit alphanumeric number, and that is the number that we're going to need. And below that, you'll see a, a field for CMAX key code, which we'll come back to later. For the MFD serial number that you'll need, you can get it from the Aircraft Aux page. We have a photo here. You see at the top it says Flight Max serial number, and then gives you that number. Or you can go to your aircraft logs. Um, it's going to be in there through a logbook entry. So with those two pieces of information, we can uh, proceed to our website, myavidine.com. And if you do not have an account, You'll follow these steps here, and we'll start by clicking Enroll Now. So we go and we pick a, a new username. It can be whatever you'd like as long as there's not a, an account with that current username. Enter our password. And we'll scroll down to Continue. Enter our personal information. And this next page is going to ask us for aircraft make, model, and tail number. So we're just going to enter what we have here. I'll enter a fake tail number for us. Looks like you've already used that for testing. Okay, so on this page is where we're going to register an MFD and a PFD. Uh, we recommend you register both because when we have these on file, if there's any service bulletins or service information letters that apply to your particular aircraft, um, we have your contact information and we know what units are registered and we can contact you. So for the series I selected, we have landscape. Uh, we're going to highlight both of them. and. Also for reference, the portrait models that you see below that here, uh, those are only in Columbia's and Lancer aircraft. So if you have a Cirrus, uh, you just simply select landscape. So we're going to enter our serial number. And our PFD. And hit register. Okay, now we have our PFD and our MFD registered, and we need to click the CMAX button. On this page, you can see our tail number, our MFD serial number, 
and below that we have the four empty boxes there that we're going to enter our Jeppesen serial number, four characters at a time. So again, to get that, we go back to our Jeppesen account, right click on it, go down to set Avarang key. So there we have it, the EXJ4 number, so I'll type in those four at a time. Make sure it's in, in caps, otherwise the CMAX key code would, would be incorrect. So we hit generate key, and there we have it. It's a very unique number, and I would always recommend copy and pasting. You don't want to try to type that number in, um, just because the likelihood of getting a, a character wrong is, is quite high, and you won't know that the CMAX key code was copied incorrectly until you drive out to your plane and attempt to load it at which point you'll just have to contact us here at Tech Support and we'll kind of backstep and see if we can figure out what happened. So we can highlight it, hit Control c to copy if you're on a PC or Command-C on a Mac. We paste it in there, and then we hit OK. So now our MyAvDyn account has this on file. That won't go away. And our Jepson account has the proper CMX key code embedded. So to download these, we go to Start, we go to Browse, and you can see our My Removable Disk there. Hit OK, and we start downloading. OK, now that our Jeppesen download is complete, we have the data on our USB drive, and we're going to take our thumb drive out to the aircraft. The important thing here when you get in the aircraft is to make sure that you plug in the USB drive into the MFD prior to applying power to the aircraft. If you plug in the USB drive after the MFD is booting up, it won't recognize it um, and may cause some problems down the road. So make sure that you plug it in first, then power up, and it should recognize the USB drive within 10 to 15 seconds. If it does recognize that USB drive, you're going to get a screen like this that says please press proceed to begin update and obviously you would select proceed um, and then it will update the charts. Depending on geographic size, how many, you know, what size of charts you have downloaded will determine how long it takes to update the, to the MFD. Typically it's about 10 minutes or so. Once that's done uploading, you'll have updated charts on your MFD and you will be all set. So if you have any questions, my name is Brandon. I'm in Avidine Technical Support. You can always contact us directly at techsupport at avidine.com. Or if you'd like to give us a call, you can call 888-723-7592. I hope this video was helpful, and we'll see you in a different one.